Hi, I'm Shannon Pahaney, and today I'm going to be showing you an experiment recently published in Methods in Ecology and Evolution, and this is an open-top chamber warming experiment here at the Harvard Forest, and this experiment was designed by Frank Bowles, associated with Marine Biological Laboratory. PIs include Aaron Ellison, also at the Harvard Forest, Nick Gutelli at the University of Vermont, Nate Sanders at the University of Tennessee, Rob Dunn at North Carolina State University, and this entire project is funded by the U.S. Department of Energy. The objective of this project is to examine the responses of species to warming across large geographic areas. We focus on arthropods such as ants because they are incredibly responsive to warming, but they're also very abundant and important in forest ecosystems. The infrastructure that I'm showing you today is in place both here at the Harvard Forest in Massachusetts as well as at Duke Forest in North Carolina. This project includes an array of nine heated chambers which include a warming anywhere from one and a half to five and a half degrees Celsius above ambient. We also have three control chambers at each site as well as three chamberless controls. Chamberless controls are the same area as the regular chambers, but they lack the infrastructure. These chambers have been running since January of 2010, and they receive heat year-round 24-7 so that we're able to determine responses to both summer as well as winter warming. We heat the chambers using high-efficiency boilers that heat water, which then runs through manifold and through insuplex piping out to the chambers. Once the heated water reaches the chamber, the heat is transferred to the air via a copper coil heat exchanger. The rate of water flow and therefore the degree of heating is then controlled by a bolimo valve inside the blower box. Heated air is then delivered by a large fan that forces air into chambers through plastic ducting that hangs approximately 45 centimeters above the ground. This experiment is also a great way to collaborate with undergraduate students, including RU students at the Harvard Forest, who here are showing you how we do Winkler sampling, which is a method that allows us to look at the soil and water arthropods across the different temperature treatments. We sample arthropods monthly throughout the year using pitfalls. We also track colony growth in ants that have already colonized the chambers using these artificial nest boxes. In addition to tracking changes in arthropods, we're also examining plant phenology and growth. We also are recording a variety of microclimate variables in all of the chambers. As the top two graphs in this figure show air temperature at both Duke Forest and Harvard Forest do fluctuate in the chambers over the course of time, but with fluctuations in air temperature, we also see as we move down these graphs changes in organic soil temperature, inorganic soil temperature, soil moisture, as well as humidity. So far, our results suggest that arthropods are responding to warming in these chambers, we do see increases in abundance and changes in composition in the warmest chambers, particularly at Harvard Forest. We also are seeing increased herbivory and plant stress under warmer temperatures. There, of course, is plenty of opportunity for future collaboration, and we look forward to the next suite of results that we get after more long-term heating. Thank you.